right, guys, so we made it here to the Jurassic Quest. It's just a drive through exhibit, so we'll be staying in the car, but I'm gonna try my best to film the whole thing. Look, you guys, look. Uh -huh. Okay, that's really cool. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Look, look at this. Because they have fins. So. Say hi. Hi. Everybody, yeah. you got snacks. How you feel about this so far? Do you like this? <laughs> That's Soraya's friend, Beyond. Say hi. <laughs> Soraya, Contrail in the back. <laughs> Babe, say hi. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Jerry, you want a bubble wand? It's like that. There's a blue one and then there's a pink one. Or do you want a sword? A sword. I said that. Yeah. Do the uh, Wait, floor light up. Yeah, so yeah, this is the setting. So, uh, and then we also have the bubble ones. Those have two light settings and then one is where it blows the bubbles with the lights. Let me get a one sword and one uh, bubble wand. The oh, would you like pink or blue for the bubble wand? Uh, pink. pink. Uh, I would like to put a knock on just fell off. Thank you. So you got a bubble wand, Lisey. Junior, let me see your uh, sword. Look, and Junior got a dinosaur sword. Yeah, I so think you have dinosaurs. So cool, dude. Avi, that is my pretty niece. Say hi, auntie. You guys, that's my best friend. Shall I say hi? Hello. Avi, say hi. Hi. You guys, that's my handsome nephew. You can't see him with all that beautiful hair. No, you can't go to auntie's car. Oh, you wanna come to auntie's house? You wanna come to auntie's house? Yeah? yeah? Why would you do that? Why would you sit there and do that? Now I gotta hear a screaming baby. Thank you. I can. Well, I can come get her. Yes, bring Gabriel to our house. Yeah. Are you two? Cause your shirt says you're two. How old are you? Come on, just. Okay, you gonna play that game, huh? So we made it back home. I am so tired, you guys. My husband is tired. We had fun. Um, I, I think I slept like three and a half, four hours last night. And then I got up and posted the vlog. <laughs> Junior has this, um, let me see. <laughs> he has this in my face. But anyway, so we're back home. We grabbed something to eat. Um, I have to cook tomorrow for Easter, so I did not want to cook tonight. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. And that's what, I was hanging at that point in Minecraft and I got this legendary sword. Yeah, Lisa Bear, you have fun? Yes! Anyways, we don't have too much going on for the rest of the night, you guys. Uh, we're going to relax and I'm going to show you guys what we got to eat. And then, like I said, tomorrow I'll have to, look at you, Khaleesi. No, <laughs> I made no sense. Like I said, tomorrow I gotta get up and cook, and then of course I'll vlog tomorrow as well. But um, that's all we have going on for today. We're just gonna chill for the rest of the day. Y'all come help me. Happy okay, Easter! Come. Yeah, say happy Easter, that's tomorrow. Uh, yeah! Guys, 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 guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Yeah. We just grabbed El Pollo Loco for dinner. Yeah, I haven't actually eaten this in years. We got the kids some churros. Back up, girl. And then Junior has a cheese quesadilla in here. So this is day two, and the directions say on day one and day two to keep the soil really moisturized. What does that mean? That means like wet. 
that it needs to be lubricant. In Super wet. Um, no, it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be moisturized. It doesn't. You don't want to keep it dry, right? Why? Because I guess that's what helps it to grow. So, day one and day two, keep the soil moisturized. That's what it says. Do you guys think there was two bunnies? Maybe the Easter bunny had a helper. Mm-hmm. Not right now though. All right, you guys, so this is what I made for Easter dinner. We're having ham, mashed potatoes, baked macaroni and cheese, cabbage, and rolls. Slash anniversary. Oh, <laughs> that's right, Easter slash anniversary. What are we about to do, you guys? Make rice crispy cheese and give us a huge thumbs up and subscribe well, and click the bell. Junior did have the pajama shirt to match his bottoms, you guys, but I'm going to show you what that looks like. After he ate macaroni and cheese, apparently he used his sleeve as a napkin. All right, so we have the butter in here. We're just melting that, and then as soon as that melts, we're going to go ahead and add the marshmallows. Marshmallows in. Marshmallows! It's not too much. Never too much. <laughs> it's never too much. Okay, go ahead and stir. Yep, stir them. Why would they even melt? Lisey, show everybody your apron. We got this apron from Home Goods like two or three years ago. I think two years ago. Make it flat. Mommy said stir it, Junior. It sounds funny, huh, Papa? It sounds like butter. Yeah, there you go, Papa. Here you go. Here you go, Papa. This is what it looks like, guys. Okay, guys, so we're finished. We're just going to go ahead and pour it into the pan with the parchment paper. <laughs> wow! Okay. I never chill. It's not perfectly even, but that's okay. It looks perfect in the camera. Like, look, guys. Okay, so what, what does Christmas represent? Christmas or celebrating Jesus' birthday. So, yep, celebrate Jesus' birthday. And so, what is Easter? Easter is um having fun. Um, oh, Jesus, I forgot. Easter is a reminder that we'll be with Jesus forever. Oh yeah, I forgot. Jesus' resurrection. Has say resurrection. By Jesus dying, we were able to live. Do you guys understand that? Mm -hmm. Yep, he died for our sins. Did you guys know that? So all the mistakes that we make as people, because we're not perfect, Jesus died for our sins. He died, so we were able to live. Remember that, okay? Always remember that. Wait, we, if no one died for us in heaven, will we only stay alive for a little bit? I don't know exactly how that works. I just don't think that we would be here if Jesus didn't die for our sins. If he didn't die for us, then there's no way we would be able to be here. Oh, how you know hell is? Girl, please. Okay, hold on. Okay. I still don't like dying. Neither do I. We were born to love life. God loves life. But sometimes we have to let go of one thing so we can move on to another. So we're, nobody wants to die. We're, we're supposed to love our life, right? God wants us to love to live, right? But sometimes that's not always the plan or he has a plan and we don't, people don't live or things don't live as long as they'd like to. Little Cub was silent for the rest of the walk home. She was trying to listen with her heart. She listened and listened and listened. That night as Papa and Mama tucked her into bed, she was still listening. And as her parents kissed her and hugged her, she turned over and remembered she was God's child too. In that moment, 
She felt comfy and cozy and cared for, almost as if Jesus had whispered, I love you, in her heart. The next morning, little cub said, Papa, I think I heard God last night. You did, he said, putting his arm around her. Well, that's the best Easter present ever. What did he say? I love you. Mmm, those words are good words, perfect words, and they really are what Easter is all about. The end. So, did you learn anything in this book? I'd like to know. I only learned of God can speak in your heart. Anything else. Nothing else. God is in your heart? Yes. God is in your heart. That's a good thing well, to learn. God is also up there. Up there. Inside of there. Yeah, God's also there, but it's way more bigger. Uh-huh. So God is everywhere is what you're saying? He's right behind me. He's everywhere, huh? <laughs> okay, yeah. Lucy, come tell me what you learned, sweetie. Lucy is getting watery, guys. Did you learn anything, Lucy Bear, from that book? Mm -hmm. What'd you learn? I learned that you talk God. That you talk to God? Mm -hmm. And then if you talk to God, what happens? Does he talk yeah. back to you? You feel something. You feel something. That is amazing. You do. That is exactly true. You talk to God and then you feel him. You feel his presence. You have to listen for his answers. You have to listen for his, re for his response. So that is perfect. Anyways, I love you guys. <laughs> okay, guys. I just want to show you Junior stains on his shirt. Clearly, he wiped his whole dinner on here. This don't make no sense. Anyways, I use the OxyClean Max Force, so I love how this stuff works. I'm almost out of it, and then the sprayer broke, so I'm just going to pour some on here, but I need to get some more. I'm just gonna let this sit right here for a little bit before I wash it. So I'm making my husband an omelet. So far in this skillet, I just have the ham from Easter, some red bell pepper and onion. I'm gonna add some spinach to this. And then here are my eggs. I have three eggs and then one egg white. The egg white helps to make the omelet a little bit more fluffy. Um, I haven't actually made an omelet in years, but he's been craving it, so I'm making him one. All right, you guys, so this is how the omelet turned out. It has spinach, ham, red bell, red bell pepper, onion, and cheese. All right guys, so here is the update on the plants. They don't look much different from yesterday. Lucy's helping me clean right now, you guys. But um, they don't look that much different from yesterday, but you definitely can see something going on. No, thank you, Papa. The directions had said by day seven, we should see some growth. So three more days, we'll see. Three more days left? Yeah, till it reaches seven days. Okay. <laughs>